Hey, this is Scott. And hey, this is Jay. And this is Scott and Jay Show, and it's your Saturday at Starbucks Studios. What's going on, Jay? Uh, Saturday morning. I just hey, got you want to keep it on whatever time of the show is. Just got my tail kicked in. Uh, this. this. Yeah. Well, uh, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Academy yeah. Awards are coming up. Who do you think is going to win Best Actor? Tom Hanks and uh, Kevin yes. Phillips. Yes. You know, that, that was a. We, uh, Diane and I watched that last night. Fantastic movie. Good movie, yep. Yes. It's really good. Um, what made that movie so good? Tom Hanks. Okay, yeah, that's true. Um, the storyline's great. You know, I, I remember, I remember what all happened. Yeah. Right? And, uh, Just amazing how those Navy SEALs or those military special ops teams are so... Man, they're just so awesome. And I was really impressed, with, by the way, that Captain Phillips had thought of some really ingenious stuff by holding down the mic to say when he was talking to him about going different places. He was giving his team crew, uh, his crew uh, direction on what, what he was doing, where he was going. Right. And uh, they, everybody knew what was what was happening. He was. He was in control, even though he wasn't in control. And then, uh, even when he's on the life raft, having the fourth guy saying, "Tell my family I'm seat 15," and that way they, they knew exactly where he was. I wouldn't have thought to do that. I wouldn't either. <laughs> I think I probably would have been killed. <laughs> yeah, my movie would have been a little different. And, uh, who We've been play? short. <laughs> <laughs> so who would play me? Let's see. I think it would be uh, John Lovitz. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably yeah. Um, Jimmy Kimmel or somebody. I don't yeah, know. But uh, so the uh, Super Bowl next weekend, and the winner is Denver. Denver by uh, field goal. It's by close. field goal. It's close game. Okay. So you all coming over to watch it? Uh, I think we've got something going on in the church. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, if I, I, if I try really hard, I bet I can find something else to do. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I've, I've got to wash my hair. I've got to study for a year and a half. Yes. Yeah. Um, actually, I'll have to check and see what, what the wife is Okay, whatever. Doing. I get it. I see. I'm teaching financial peace that day. So. Yeah. All right, so that's the Scott Dick Show. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, Denver, and then what else is going on? So the game, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Can't wait for the new uh, planet, the new space area to open up. Under construction. Under construction. I haven't opened the game for quite a while. I know. Uh, just kind of got bored of it. I got I got sick of the big giant monster with the uh, the thing that you've got to spend all your reserves just to try to kill them. Right. I can help you with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you how to do it. All right. Well. Um, anything else coming up here in Bartlesville, January? February. Oh, yes. Guys, don't forget to get your uh, life dozen roses. Think now. Think now about getting your dozen roses. Yep, early, buy them early, and that way you can avoid not having them. Right. Can you uh, avoid higher prices if you buy them early or not? No. No, because. By the time the uh, the flower shops get them, the, the price of them have, has gone up so much. You know, the, the whole supply chain says, "Well, let's everybody get a piece of the pie," and so everybody Got charges a minty more biscuits? during that time. So, because you know you're going to buy them. So, if you buy your wife a dozen roses a week ahead of time, is that a smart idea, or just being a putz? Uh, you can do it ahead of time. Um, if you like have them delivered ahead of time or delivered on Valentine's Day? Not even delivered, just pick them up like a week early and just give them to her a week early. Yeah, you're and not give her anything on Valentine's Day. You're not going to say anything. By the time that you do that, it's, it's already too late. The, the price has already gone up on So you think the prices have already gone up on roses right now? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're three weeks out, so yeah, it's, it's uh, four, four weeks out. So three weeks. Yeah, it's probably right now is because they're already cut. 
they're, or they're getting, getting ready to cut them to, to send them for, for Valentine's Day so that they started going up. Because they know that they, they can get the price. All right. So go ahead and make your re restaurant reservations now, properly, oh, you uh, if you can, you and <laughs> get your dozen You can just, like, scoop it off. Yeah. Scoop it off. So what are you going to get me for my birthday? It's, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, what should we get Jay for Valentine's Valentine's Day, for his birthday on Valentine's Day? Nothing so all the our millions of viewers yes. to let us know what we should get Jay for his birthday. Nothing with hearts. I hate hearts. Hearts? I hate everything to do with Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it takes it. away from your birthday. It yeah, it distracts from your birthday. It makes it less special. Uh, Everybody or, else or is celebrating with it. Yeah, well that's like Matthew. His birthday is on Christmas. Christmas yeah. Yeah. See, that, that stinks for Matthew because you got to wait a full 365 days for presents. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do... So, so if you give your wife something on not Valentine's Day, is that not cool? Or are you no, just being cool. It's thrifty? spontaneous at that point. When you do it on Valentine's Day, it's you're expected. Just, you're limiting you life. Yeah, and you're just running off the cliff like everybody else. Yeah. Very limiting life. Yeah, but if you buy it uh, otherwise, then uh, you, you, you look spontaneous. Yeah, so let's say everybody buy our wives uh, uh, a dozen roses the week before Valentine's Day. That makes you look cheap. Huh? Because you're trying to avoid... Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Does that make you look cheap? Yeah. Like a putz or... Does it? Yeah, so, so love is equal to my more money having to spend more money for the same thing if you could get it cheaper a week later yeah is that right Jeffrey? would you rather get a dozen roses on Valentine's Day or would you rather get a dozen roses the week after knowing that your husband saved 25 bucks huh oh she wants them both times she wants them both times that's a tough customer right there. Yeah, that's a difficult one for you right there. <laughs> what? But if you don't get her anything for Valentine's Day, then she'll think you don't love her. Okay. So you got to get her something. Yeah, so you got to get her something on Valentine's Day. I guess that's just the way it works. Even if it's just like a single rose. Even if it's just a single rose, okay. All right, so a word to the wise, do something on Valentine's Day. But if you really want to make a, you know, do something, but if you really want to have a wow impact and save some money, I guess you could you could do something a week later. So. What do I know? I've only been married 22 years, 22 years, you know. Yeah. Still haven't gotten married. We only have a few years on me, then. I've right. been married 18 years. Oh, have you been married 18 years? No, this, this year I'll be married 18 years. Yeah. Anything else? Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, this week, you know, here I am at work. All of a sudden, this big, loud...